Methane gushes from a well dug more than a century ago and abandoned since the 1950s. 141 cubic meters of pungent greenhouse gas per day. It was recently uncovered in Cleveland, Ohio, in an apartment complex for elderly, low-income residents, many of whom have complained of the smell for years. Did you ever smell the gas? Yeah, but others smelled it more than I did, but it was definite and it was often. Now a team from the nonprofit Well Done Foundation is hard at work plugging the leaky well for good. When we're done and we're walking off of this project that we've stopped the emission of 5,000 uh, cubic feet of gas per day, you know, you start to multiply that by, by weeks and months and decades, uh, it's very significant. Abandoned wells are a huge problem. By government estimates, there are more than two million of them in the U.S. and possibly many more whose locations are no longer known. By some estimates, they emit more than 7 million metric tons of greenhouse gases per year. That's the equivalent of burning 30 million liters of petrol. This is kind of low-hanging fruit, if you would. So this is an area that we can take immediate action. So far, Curtis Shuck's nonprofit organization has plugged 16 abandoned wells in four states. Methane is such a, an incredibly harmful greenhouse gas. It is 80 times as um, destructive as CO2. Uh, and so if you want to have an immediate impact, uh, you just stop it. Many of the wells that Well Done has plugged are in open fields. The Cleveland well project is different. We have elderly folks who live right around it. That's a tricky location to rig up on. Um, it's a tricky location to get into. The expert crew applies a seal to the outflow pipe and welds it shut. Next, they'll drill down to clear debris and dirt out of the pipe, extending far below the surface. In the final step, the crew will fill the well with a specially formulated kind of cement, sealing it up forever. And that's one well down, two million to go. For Shuck, each plugged well is a triumph. How do you climb a mountain? It's, you know, one step at a time. Uh, that's really the focus is then that way it becomes uh, something that we can really get our hands around and celebrate. A victory for the crew, the community, and for the planet. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Cleveland, Ohio.